what is the time it takes for the car to surpass the motorcycle in the race, considering their respective accelerations and maximum speeds. First, we need to find out when the motorcycle reaches its maximum speed. We can use the formula V equal to U plus A, where V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, is the acceleration, and T is the time. Since the motorcycle starts from rest, U equal to zero. So, the time it takes the motorcycle to reach its maximum speed is T equal to V slash equal to 58.8 M slash S slash 8.4 M slash S2 equal to 7 seconds. During this time, the car is also accelerating. We can find out how far the car has travelled using the formula S equal to plus 0.5 at 2. Again, since the car starts from rest, U equal to 0. So, the distance the car has travelled is S equal to 0. 0.5 asterisk 5.6 and slash s2 asterisk 7 s2 equal to 137.2 meters. After 7 seconds, the motorcycle is traveling at its maximum speed and the car is still accelerating. The motorcycle will continue to travel at its maximum speed, so its position at any time t after 7 seconds can be found using the formula s equal to up plus 0.5 at 2. Since the motorcycle is no longer accelerating, equal to zero and the formula simplifies to s equal to ut equal to 58.8 m slash s asterisk t. The car, however, is still accelerating. Its position at any time t can be found using the formula s equal to up plus 0.5 at 2. Since the car starts from rest, u equal to zero and the formula simplifies to s equal to 0.5 asterisk 5.6 m slash s2 asterisk t2. We want to find the time t when the car catches up to the motorcycle. This is when the positions of the car and the motorcycle are equal. So, we set the two position equations equal to each other and solve for t. 58.8m slash s asterisk t equal to 0.5 asterisk 5.6 and slash s2 asterisk t2. Solving this equation gives t equal to 58.8m slash s slash 5.6m slash s2 equal to 10.5 seconds. However, this is the time from when the motorcycle reached its maximum speed, so we need to add the 7 seconds it took for the motorcycle to reach its maximum speed. So, the car takes 10.5 seconds plus 7 seconds equal to 17.5 seconds to reach the motorcycle.